Good Wednesday evening, YouTube modeling community. Pappy here at West Georgia Rides and Customs. Hope everyone's doing well this week. Uh, day's hump day, getting us a little bit of bench time in tonight. Thought I'd give you all a little update on this uh, old build that I've got going on. This is the uh, J.R. Salvino's kit that uh, I'm going to be doing the uh, Daryl Waltrip uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken Budweiser uh, Monte Carlo livery. This uh, this build has uh, – this is where I'm at right now. I haven't uh, – finally got some paint on the frame. Uh, been working on the engine here this week, actually over the weekend. I'm, right now I'm wiring it, so that's probably uh, – it's going to be sitting right here in front of me for a minute. Uh, got the frame. Uh, the frame is complete. Uh, I say complete, but it's uh, painted. Got it into paint. This is uh, – I sprayed it with the – Tamiya gray primer first, and then came back with a with about three coats of uh, Italian red. Uh, that's pretty much the uh, period correct for that Monte Carlo. Uh, a lot of, I'd say NATO black. Just doing that got a lot of just a lot of detail uh, painting that I've got done. I got the seat just mocked up in there, and I'm gonna drop that out here and show y'all underneath it. But first, uh, looking right here into the. Uh, uh, into the engine bay, uh, had to do the, uh, uh, just some, uh, had to hand pick out most of the, uh, steering linkage, the gear box, uh, the steering box, uh, sway arms, things like that. Got that, uh, had to hand paint all that in with a brush. Uh, and then the shocks were just, I just installed the shocks just a few minutes ago. So those are in there and drying up as we speak. Uh, haven't done too much inside the uh, in, inside the uh, uh, frame itself right in here. I just got the dash mocked in here just to kind of uh, help with some placement, of, you know, as far as the uh, trying to make sure that the uh, uh, this uh, as far as the dash panel itself fits in there sufficiently. So, and, uh, and then I'm going to be coming back through in here doing some uh, some detail brushing, brush paint, things like that. Let's flip it over. This is where we're at. I had to do the upper and AR, upper and lower A arms, hand brush those in as well. Uh, got the uh, got everything as far as the rear end, uh, the uh, sway bars, uh, all that is uh, in position where it's going to be at. The shocks, uh, the spring assemblies, all that's in. Everything's glued in. I normally when you if you've built any of these kits you have to build the uh as far as the axle housing on top of this first let that dry then you come back and glue glue all this in and then glue your sway bar in then your, your shocks goes in first and then you just drop that assembly down into there but everything is uh glued in hardened up real good uh anywhere that had a glue mark i've already got it uh, touched up with red paint uh, so everything's looking good up underneath it right now. So that's about all I can talk about on that. We're going to come back uh, and work further back this way with detail painting on the, uh, as far as the, the gas tank and the catch bottle, things like that. So uh, as far as the engine, engine is, uh, I told you earlier, it's pretty much, well, just uh, just a basic kit engine. Didn't do a lot of detail work to it, just a lot of painting. Uh, did the, just have finished gluing in the plug wires on the driver's side. And I'm gonna be getting in all this right here. Then I'll get the uh, these headers, uh, these crossover headers uh, glued in after a while as well. So uh, with that being said, tell you what, let's slide the engine in just for grins and giggles. Show y'all how, see that thing just drops right in there. Uh, these kits are, if you haven't built any, uh, these, these are the old, uh, monogram kits from way on back that J.R. Salvino's, uh, bought the molds. I forgot how much fun these things were to build. And I really enjoyed building these. Uh, we've got, uh, a lot as far as on the interior, I've still got to do the dash. I haven't usually when I do, a uh, the instrument cluster, I drill out all the, all five of these, uh, uh, gauges right here and then come behind here with decals. So still got some, uh, work to do there. Just finished up the seat tonight. This is just a uh, basic, uh, uh, NATO black. Uh, I come usually this little panel right in here and this little, uh, uh, this is usually an aluminum piece. So I just come over that with, uh, the, some uh, aluminum bare metal foil and uh, just to kind of accent that. Then I will be uh, putting the seat belts in. 
once the seat belts are in, I will be dropping that down in there. Still got to uh, still got to detail paint the uh, headrest back there as well. Uh, the tires and the wheels are all uh, finished. They're they're finished assembly now. Uh, once I got them glued in, uh, we uh, blackwashed everything as far as inside the holes themselves and around the lug nuts. Brings out a lot more uh, detail when you blackwash a lot of those. Uh, as far as the uh, the white letters on it, uh, I've got a set of uh, these uh, gopher uh, decals here that are the uh, Goodyear Eagle liveries for the side of those. So I always like to do these. It's I cannot. I've never been successful with uh, trying to. Uh, the raised Goodyears on this side, I usually turn them on the inside and then use the decals out here on that. And that makes a little bit more prettier uh, wheel uh, or tire assembly once you look at it. Uh, where we at also, we got the body. I haven't got the body in paint or anything. It's, it's in a primer. I had to uh, I had to do a lot of body work. Uh, Scully, give me a hand. Uh, there was a bad... Uh, mold line down this front fender top of it down through here uh and then you got then you got some of the little mold lines that comes down through this uh, down to the c pillar uh coming back down through here and then down through here uh down this body line right here so you gotta clean those up uh and i had a little blemish i don't know look like a blemish booger or something it was plastic so I just took some 1,000 uh, and started working my way up and finally got that blemish away from it. Had to work with the hood a little bit to get it to fit in uh, the opening a little bit better. Uh, that way, because when you when I do the decals, I usually like to have the hood in place on the car. That way I can kind of you know position if, it, if I have an overlap of the decal over to the fender or something like that. But I doubt it, but... It's always good, nice to have a good fitting uh, hood on here. I've got this uh, body sprayed in Tamiya gray primer. Uh, haven't uh, uh, the white? I think I sprayed this Saturday or Sunday. I think it was Sunday, and uh, just gonna let it get good and uh, cure it out. Then I'm gonna come back with the uh, with some Tamiya white. That'll be the first base color. Uh, looking at some of the uh, the pictures that uh, that is actually the cover of the, the starting photo of this video. That's the car that I'm trying to uh, uh, to build right there. That come out of the Junior Johnson uh, stables uh, back in '84. Him and Daryl Waltrip and Neil Bonnet was a reckoning force to be. That was a hell of a race team back then. So, but uh, that's the livery that I'll be. This car will be patterning. So, but if I uh, had white down through here, and if I remember correctly, I think it was either red or blue down here. I can't remember. I have to look at the photos. And then it had a red roof uh, up in the top. So I'll be using the uh, uh, the Italian red on it as well uh, up in here. I'll have to, it's going to take some, some uh, I got to take the decals, make a, uh, uh, I'll take the decals and make a, uh, a copy of them that way i can cut out the the where the uh, there's a little thin uh borderline uh uh pinstripe that comes up through here i'll need to uh, mark it off correctly that way i don't uh, make that way it'll match up once i start putting the decals on but uh this is where we're at with this build right now this is uh it's fun i've really enjoyed doing this one uh i want to uh uh, kind of take my time with this one. It's uh, this one of the sub themes this year at the Acme Southern Nationals is going to be uh, vintage NASCAR. So I want to kind of take a little bit of time with this one. This is going to be probably one of my sub themes that'll be on the table, along with a few other builds that I've got. I uh, haven't really decided on what I'm bringing this year. Uh, so that's uh, that I got to get started and got to get this one cranking. Uh, cranked out before the show uh, this year's show November the 5th uh, man it's I'm looking forward to seeing everyone getting back down to the uh, meeting all my uh, all my friends seeing everybody's builds from uh, that's been going on uh, since last year and uh, it's uh, it's coming around the corner guys if you if you're building something right now I know there's a couple out there and I've been 
uh, been having fun with them, poking with them. That that uh, they ain't even got paint on the car. But I said, you better hurry it up. It's that date's coming. It's creeping up on us. But looking forward to it. Also looking forward to uh, once I get this one off the bench, and I may get cranked up on this uh, other one that I am uh, part of. Uh, this is the uh, uh, the USAC bill, the United Scale Auto or Unified U- Ooh, See the Unified Scale Auto Content Creators of YouTube's group bill. Everyone's going to be building uh, those uh, Plymouth Roadrunners or the GTXs, and man, I tell you what. Last year we built the forty, uh, the forty Fords, and this year we built. Mark chose to build these, and I tell you what, there, I, there's a heck of a lot more people doing it this year. A lot of awesome builders. Uh, I can't. I'm gonna have to talk with uh, either. Uh, I'm gonna have to talk with Mark and uh, Luca and see how many people that uh, that is actually in on this one this year. But really, uh, been keeping. Uh, keeping you know tabs on what everybody's building right now i've been seeing a lot of everybody posting it but it uh hadn't seen what uh if i remember kim uh kim uh uh soda pop is what we call him uh i seen he he's doing a gasser also so uh can't wait to see what's coming out of his shop with his uh still i'm still gonna uh, be doing a gasser with mine i'll do on my next update i'll show you all some of my other gassers how i like to build them Really also want to uh, give a big thank you to everyone that participated in the, uh, uh, when I asked what color I ought to build this, either the uh, the electric pink or the uh, petty blue. The big vote was for petty blue, and I really appreciate everybody jumping in on that. And uh, looking forward to starting to get that kit opened up and get, the, get some primer on that body and get started uh, doing that one. West Georgia rods and custom style. So anyhow, folks, I'm going to jump back on this bench. I'm going to clear off a little bit where I can get this engine uh, wired up a little bit more and uh, see what I can get knocked out on this. Maybe some decals on these tires later on, but if not, I got the rest of the, I got tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening to do a little bit more on it. So anyhow, I'm going to get off here. I hope everybody has a great rest of your week. Remember, folks, if you can dream it, build it. God bless y'all. Happy out of here.